We didn't go on the ride yet because Joshua wants to go with us today, but he's not going to be ready till noon. Meanwhile, take a look at what I've been doing all morning. Welcome to Bear Pantry Talk. This is the sister channel to the Bear Pantry Show. This is where you're going to find honest reviews, exciting unboxings, do-it-yourself projects, and engaging commentary. I've been organizing my record collection. All right? I'm still keeping these records because they might be worth something. Uh, someday. So this is Elvis Christmas, Nat King Cole, Christmas Ace Cannon, Pedrito Fernandez, Brenda, Brenda, look at this. Three records from this this little kid. Well, he's my age, but I grew up with him, you know. Well, not with him, but on his music. <laughs> Conway, John Schneider. I used to love John Schneider. He used to be my celebrity crush, but man, if you see the stuff he tweets, mm, I'm done. Dolly, I love Dolly. George Jones, this is Joe Bali right here. Randy Travis. How is Randy doing nowadays? Is he getting over that stroke? Gary Morris, Eddie, Ra Eddie Rabbit. I used to love Eddie Rabbit. Well, he's dead now. I still love him. George Street, George Street, the judge just now. Oh, Charlie. Charlie Pride died yesterday. They said COVID related. I'm not sure though. Blondie, Ray Charles, Rita Coolidge. Love her stuff. Tommy Overstreet. Uh, the best of country crossovers. This is from Avon. I wonder if it's worth anything. Hank Williams Jr. I used to like him too, but... Mm. Johnny Cash. Plenty. Oh, God. He's horrible now, isn't he? God, I remember my mom used to have a crush on him. Tiny Whiny. Dolly. Loretta and Conway. Waylon Jennings. The Cosmos. Evelyn King. Jerry Butler. B.B. King. Oh, take a look at this one. This one is signed. Take a look. It has a record number, a signature, a little live, what, live and well, and it's dated 429.69. Do you think BB King signed this? Does this look like his signature? Can you guys check online for me and let me know? Maybe it's worth something. What do you think? Olivia, Neutron Bomb. That's what they used to call her. You know, she was so sweet. She's still sexy. I love her. The police. And then some reggae ones. Some candlelight ones, like if you're on a hot date with your babes, dinner date, you know. Uh, Donnie and Marie Osmond, I've never listened to their music, but Jada got these from somebody. I don't know who. Oh, Lord. No, they all fell. I'm going to have to pick them up. And I'm sitting here patiently waiting. Let me show you. I just saved a video. Let me show you. I'm patiently waiting on Joe's results to come back from Ancestry.com. It says, um, thank you for registering, da, da 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 learn more right here. And then it reads thusly, due to high demand, we're a little bit behind, yada yada. But the estimated res uh, result date is December 12th, which was yesterday. And it says, results ready in progress. It's still in progress, it didn't say ready yet. Okay. I'm going to ask the question everybody wants to know. Why does Joe call COVID covert? Joe, why do you call it covert? Because it's a, it, 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 it's a mission. <laughs> it's a covert <laughs> mission. He had an answer. Okay. Jesus, he had an answer. <laughs> and then my sister says, COVID. She doesn't say co. She says, cu. And then my Trini friend says, not Sandra, another Trini friend I have. She says, COVID. COVID. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, you guys? <laughs> so we have Joshua with us. Ah! I thought that was going to stay up with that, with that thing I tied it with. We have Josh with us going on this ride today. We waited for him. Yes, Joe oh, was awful while we were waiting. He said he was sleepy, that he just couldn't keep his eyes open. He was hungry. Oh, all type of things started to happen to Joe because he didn't take his ride this morning. <laughs> All because we, you know why, right, Josh? Huh? We messed up his schedule. Oh yeah. Daddy doesn't like to be off of a pattern or a schedule. So uh, me neither. And so we messed it up by going later. Mm-hmm. I haven't done a mukbang in a while. I think because I have not been eating anything interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but I will sit down and do one soon. Christmas. Look on the people that attend a church. They must want to go to church bad, don't you? I've never, I've never wanted to go to church bad in my life. <laughs> when you were little, yeah. oh look at those pretty I fire know, trucks in there. Those classic fire trucks. When you were little, and we used to go to the Anglican church in LA, St. John's. Yeah. Daddy used to pinch you so you would cry, 
and then he would go outside and run around on the grass with you for the whole service. That's just smart. <laughs> Daddy. That's he smart. didn't even correct me, so you know I'm not lying. I respect that. <laughs> Daddy said, the baby want to go outside. The baby don't like to be in the church all day like this. Daddy run outside. <laughs> yeah. Josh, you brought a mask, right? Yes. Okay. I washed my two masks yesterday and ironed them already. They wash by hands and they iron up real nice, guys. Joshua doesn't have a helmet though. Good morning, Jesus. Okay, Joshua's here, so no singing. Look I up. thank you. Look, look, look. I thank you. Let me call for you, pick me you want to try to uh, my room. Thank you with all my heart and my soul. It's so dusty in this car. Dusty? Yeah. Hey. Daddy never cleaned it up when he bought it in Lumba. Uh. Hmm? What's up, babe? What's up, babe? When, if I say left, thank you, darling. If I say I said, you want to go on the Josh. Josh. Josh, if you hear me say left, that means you come over, come over um, in your right hand, in your correct lane because there are people coming on the left. It's, it's kind of like grandma said, come in, fly. It's kind of like that. It's just one word, left. That means come over by me. Because okay, that you, means I see something coming. Said, right, right, that means go. Okay? He's doing that to because when he does so, the okay. cars then think then it tells him for there for go. Oh, okay. So he does it under and then he used to say out of a stop. Okay. But I tell him stop set up because I hear let's go. We're telling Joshua all the um the signals that we do as riders together. By the fountain. Oh, I'm not going to sit by the library. Yeah, can I want to block me? Hurry, guys.
So Sandra, the bike, Joe's bike is fixed. Let me tell you what happened. Huh? He had a hole in the tire and he patched it. The next day it didn't have enough air so he was pumping air in it and when he released the little thing that you put on a stem to um you know from the pump the the tire the tube the ripped tube right ripped the from the stem from the stem right at the base the of the stem, stem ripped from the tube but the stem ripped from the you know what i mean <laughs> and tube, so the thing ripped out of the thing. so he bought the tire on amazon not the tire the tube you know the what tubing. i mean the inside yeah. thing the, the, the he, he bought that from oh, amazon yeah, okay. but joe only looked at the first like number 20 270k whatever the number is and he didn't look past the dash and there was a dash yada 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 so when the thing came it fit the bike like circumference no wise but width wise the tube yeah. was thinner or skinnier so it's for like a racer's bike so we had to buy another one and so when that tube came it was the correct thickness it was the correct circumference but then the little stemmy thing didn't work with the pump so joe says what the hell is this i guess it's a international universal whatever one and it needed an adapter so then he would he said he had to buy like like a whole box of adapter that come with like 10 or 15 for five bucks Not bad. so but then would have been another day without yeah. the bike but then he went into that kit that he, that aisha aisha a brown thank you for giving us that kit he went into that kit and he found four it came with four in there so he used one and the thing has to stay on the tube it can't come off once once you put it in there it's done so it's kind of like when the bee releases its sting it's done Joshua, is that true that there's no more stinger? No, yeah, they're guts for about. Oh. So it's kind of like that. So now he's going to buy um, a box of those little adapter thingies to replace the one that he took from the emergency kit. Thank God for that emergency kit. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's on his bike again. And then Joshua was able to use the old bike. And I still have my old bike. We're not going to sell those because maybe Jada could go with us one time. And then um, what else? The little bike? The little boy's bike, we're gonna sell that though, or yeah. give that. I really wish that I could find a, a kid, like a 11 to 13 year old kid that is desiring a bike for Christmas and the parents can't afford it. And I'd be able to give them that as a gift. Cause oh, I know they would appreciate it. And it's a good bike, has good tires. It's just for a kid, you know? Joe, Joe bought it for like 25 bucks from this guy. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the opportunity for the person. I wanted to give it to the Guatemalan people next door, the kid next door. But thank God I didn't, because you see how the big old fight broke out, right? Mm-hmm. I don't feel like turning on any lights tonight for a little fireside chat, guys. So I'm just going to use the lighting from the Christmas tree and this light that's coming from the TV as a key light. So it's bedtime for me. I've already showered and put on this little warm thing because it's kind of chilly. The day started off kind of warm, and when we took the ride today, it wasn't bad at all. But right after we got back, because we went on the ride like around 1, I think, and then around 3 o'clock, it got pitch black and got cold. Yesterday was cold. It was only 53 degrees all day for us in um, Southern California. That's cold, all right? So this was a great weekend because my cousin Cindy sent the burnt sugar for me to do the black fruit cake, and I did a video on my Aunt Grace's black, well, I call it my Aunt Grace's Belizean black fruit cake because it's Belizean fruit cake, but it's her version of it, right? which is pretty darn good. So um, I'm not going to touch that cake. I'm going to cut it tomorrow just to do my photo shoot and stuff, but I'm not going to eat none of that until my anniversary. I'm going to be good. And maybe I'll make a different cake for the anniversary too, because you know I'm going to be doing a lot of sweet treats right up to Christmas. I'm not going to be eating any of that stuff. I'll be honest with you guys. We're going to send that over to Matt and Enrique and any place else that Jada wants to take it, her friend Madison around the bend, whatever. That stuff not going to stay in here because I'm not going to mess up the great weight loss I've already had from sneaking onto the program early. So I'm not going to be sharing anything publicly here just yet because I have to take that class on the 15 on how to cook the foods. And then, you know, when we have the first meeting on December 21st, then I'll feel more comfortable with what I'm doing because I still am not sure that I'm doing it 100% correct, but I've at, re I, at, re I've at least changed around my portions, you know, for the carb and the meat and stuff, and I feel like that's made such a big difference. I've lost six pounds already since the 4th, and since the 1st of November to the 4th of December, I had already lost three point something pounds, so it's almost 10 pounds that I've dropped already. Um, I don't know if it's showing yet. I'm not going to be fixated with that. 
um, I'm when vlogmas is over I've decided that that's what I'm gonna put at this channel I'm just gonna be updating you know my program and my weight loss and stuff and whatever I can share you know without like getting sued my <laughs> guys I don't know if I can share a lot of this stuff I'm not gonna share like their videos and their booklets and stuff like that but I'm just gonna talk about it like this and show you the food I'm eating you know what I mean so I'm proud of Josh he went 4.2 miles and back on his first bike ride out with us. He did ride with us one time, you know, eight, nine months ago, but we went that way east and the it's not too many hills that way. So he did great. And it was only three miles out and three miles back. This way was a lot of uphill and he felt it at the end. He goes, my thighs hurt. And, you know, I had to catch my breath at the end. And he came back and he goes, I want to go some more. I want to build up that stamina. I think bike riding is such great exercise, you know. So we go even when it's cold, but we don't go in the wind and we don't go in the rain. I hope that you guys are staying safe because things are getting rougher and rougher with this you-know-what that's in town. Um, in Belize, they lost two doctors. They were brothers. They were twin brothers and they were doctors. And they expired, I have to watch my words, I think a day apart. They've already been buried. God, I hate YouTube, how they censor everything. Oh God, that was so sad. That kind of hurt my heart. And then there's a minister that just won his seat that passed and his wife is critical and the, the daughters are sick too. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank God Joe's nephew. He looks like he's gonna make it, guys. Thank God for that. Thank God for the prayers, right? So um, I just told Jada, I said, look, the governor says stay home only for food, uh, medicine, and work. And you work from home. Don't be going to Walmart. Don't be going to Target just because they're open because they sell food. Because you're going to go there one time too much. It's always like that, right? This person could be cheating and cheating and getting away with it for years. Two, three years, some people cheat and get away with it. And then suddenly there's one time too much and they get busted. You know, so just stay home. Stay home. We don't have no reason to go there. We got food. We're good. Stay home. You know? But you know it's always Jada. That always wants to be gone. So um, she didn't do her concert this week the fry yay concert she didn't do it because she was getting her room ready to receive the computer joshua made for her and they set it up it looks really nice in there i'll, I'll see if i can record for you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 14 um especially when her lights are on and stuff she's got her little camera her mic so she can teach tomorrow so i hope it goes well for her tomorrow because if it doesn't she's gonna have to borrow my computer again she borrowed my computer on Thursday I think and I didn't have my computer all day and I felt like they chopped off my left arm or my right arm or something I needed my computer so badly and that's why I've kind of fallen behind too on editing you know because she had it the whole day <sighs> okay guys I think this is enough for vlogmas day 13 I'm gonna go put my clothes to wash and haul my butt to bed all right and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 14. Remember to stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, all right? And um, watch your distance. Stay away from people. Don't let nobody in your house, okay? I love you guys. Bye-bye.